Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Mega G-Wolf, and welcome back to Let's Play Don't Starve. I think this frog is coming after me. No, he's leaving now. On the last episode, we were exploring the island and finding out that there are so many berries, we don't actually have to worry about starving. In fact, we might have to worry about our waistline. So, yeah, that's kind of awesome. I mean, look how many berries you can just see on this map. There's tons of them everywhere. Like, seriously, it's amazing. Okay, so what I've decided to do today is scout around the outskirts of the island a bit to try and find some... <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god. What an odd looking stone. And this odd looking stone is an amazing achievement. Oh my god. Okay, so what this does, what this stone does is basically give us an extra life. If we die, we're going to respawn on that stone. As far as I'm aware. I mean, I could be completely wrong. But I'm pretty sure that's what it does. And I'm hoping that's what it does. Because that will basically give us an extra life. Oh man, we should really set up base there. So that way if I go out exploring and die, I'll have somewhere to go back to. Which would be very useful. Okay, so, hey, suspicious tracks left by food. I mean, an animal. Well, I'd like to say that this guy has a one track mind. Okay, so now that we have an area with kind of dead grass, I'm hoping to find some beefalo. I'm not going to continue following those tracks. Following those tracks can lead us to something. Not really prepared for that yet. Beefalo are something that, believe me, you ain't going to miss if you see them. So, ah, here we go. Beefalo. Oh, nice. That isn't bad. And what we need is their manure. Lovely. Ooh, That's lovely. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Okay. So, there is a boulder, but as you can see, this one is looking slightly different. It's looking slightly different is, you can see it has these yellow bits in it. This is actually the gold that we need. Unfortunately, this one decided to be right next to a goddamn spider nest, but it seems like the pig man is distracting the spiders so I can go in and steal the gold. <laughs> yes, spider! Oh, rather, yes, pig man. Do my bidding! Oh my god, there's some more up here too. Sweet! Oh, this will be useful. I only need one to get the science machine, but getting more now will be useful because it means that I'll be able to create the next... What is that spider doing? What? What are you doing, spider? Seriously. It wants me. <laughs> ah, fuck you then. There you go. I will attack you. Oh yeah, I forgot this mu that this game has some music when you attack something. It randomly starts kicking into this random trumpet music. Randomly, random. So yes, I need only one bit of gold, but the rest of the gold can be used for the next machine up. Because there's like a second tier of science machine called the alchemy machine. Which is the next level one. I think that needs like five gold. So... Yeah, getting the gold now will be pretty useful. I might as well start collecting some food again, because I'm going to need it. Uh, I could always go up, I guess, because there's so much food. I'm seriously lucky. Someone else that I know has been playing this game just recently, and pretty much was completely jealous of this entire layout, because it's ridiculously good. Alright, so, I want to, while I'm here, get the manure set up, because I need to get... Is it under survival? No, I don't think it's under survival. But basically, there's something we need to build. We need to build the science machine first. Then we need to get a farm set up, an improved farm. We should be able to make the improved farm. Unless I need the alchemy machine to do that. And I can't remember, so I'm going to just collect eight. Because I know that's how many we need for the advanced farm. And then go back to the revival stone and set up base there just real quick. Because I think that's a really good place to call home, so to speak. Because that will allow us to, again, if we die, go back and get everything with ease. Or at least have somewhere to call home with ease, anyway. So I'm not quite sure. I don't think it's under the survival. Uh, no. People have been telling me to get a backpack in case I need to carry more. But I'm not too worried about that. Uh, okay, the healing stone or the revival stone was this way. Healing stone. Oh my, what's it actually called? It's called stone, okay. Well, we'll set up our fire pit right here. There we go. Now we have a nice place to call home. And then we want to make the science machine. Unlock new crafting recipes. You have to be nearby it. And then we'll get this extra menu here, as you can see. And we can make various items. 
we could make a straw hat. How fashionable. <laughs> okay, basic farm. Yeah, okay, the improved farm needs an alchemy engine. Okay, so I... Mm, Oh, we only need six. I thought we needed eight of those. Oh, okay. Well, I'm completely wrong then. We could build a basic farm. The only problem with a basic farm is it takes slightly longer than the improved farm, and I'm so used to using the improved farm at this point. Okay, well, I think we can probably make do for the time being, because really the farm is just to keep, with a, uh, to keep us having a good flow of food. To be honest, I don't really think there's much of an issue right now, especially with all the frogs that are around, since we can kill them and just take their frog's legs and cook them. And with all the berries around anyway, it's not really too much of an issue. It's just that I'm kind of preparing myself for when I inevitably decide to eat everything on the island. So, really, what I'm going to need to do now is uh, find some more stones to get and chop down some more trees. Because I need to use the science machine and construct them into basic building materials. For example, the grass can be made into straw. I realize I'm just running out. Not straw. It can be built into rope. I'm running out of time, so I'm going to need to stick near to the fire pit. The, uh, the wood can be built into wood planks, and the stone can be built into stone blocks. Uh, as you can see here, it's the refine tool, and we have cut stone, boards, and rope. Rope isn't necessary for what I'm trying to do with the advanced stuff, but it is useful for the spear, which actually, I think I will make that now, to be quite honest. Let's have a look. We'll make some rope. And with that rope, we will make a spear. Now, the spear is the main attacking weapon. So now that I have uh, the spear, I'll be able to do the most damage. I don't think it's the most powerful weapon. Oh, no. Rain, really? Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. <laughs> so... I don't exactly know what effects rain have. I uh, what rain has. I know that it can put out your fire a lot quicker, so I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that while it rains. But I know it has some other things it can do. Uh, it can lightning strike, like lightning bolt, which can set things on fire and damage you quite a lot. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen. We should maybe invest in getting a lightning rod or something. Since I only need six, let me add two of these. There we go. Just put poop on the fire, you know, that's a really wise thing to do. I can't imagine that smells uh, very, very good at all, to be quite honest. Looks like an offering to the beast. <gasps> Maybe it's me, I'm going to eat it and then come back to life. That'd be weird. Oh, creepy. Alright, so, with this amazing weather, we're going to go out and chop down some more trees, I guess. Uh, was there any more stone around the area? Well, there's a lot of trees around the area, so I guess I can go down there. I don't think there was any... There's some stone up, so... I have to go down for wood, up for stone. I think I will go get the stone first. So let's head upwards a bit. Of course, this is gonna do wonders for my rendering. Thanks, Rain! Oh God! So yeah, that's... that's lightning strike. That's lightning bolt of death. Don't really want to be hit by one of those if I can help it, but um, I haven't yet, so here's hoping. And of course, this is the world of Don't Starve, where things are incredibly dickish, so chances are, in this world, lightning does in fact strike twice in the same place, probably multiple times in the same place, so I'm going to have to be careful. And someone did leave a comment telling me what Nitra, Nitra does. I actually have no idea. I've forgotten. I totally read that and forgot what it did. So, haha! <laughs> Professional right here. Wait, what can I make now? Oh, is it saying I can... What's it saying I can <clears throat> make a bird trap? That's weird. Why did it say I can make... Oh, no. No, I got enough for the fire pit. I'm dumb. Sorry. Sorry, I'm dumb. Making me, uh... I'm thinking things that aren't actually a thing. And the rain stopped. That's quite useful, I guess. Alright. We're going to have to stock up on food. I didn't really keep any food on me for that night. So, as you can see, we're getting pretty hungry. Uh, was there any more rocks? Oh, there's one down here. Just mine this up. Maybe grab some berries. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make what I'm after, or the alchemy machine, in time for the seeds to not wither away. Although, the seeds usually last for pretty long. 
Okay, so there's a berry bush there, berry bush there. Let's go up then. The map is extremely useful at keeping track of some of these things. I would be dead without the map. And I'm glad they decided that they weren't going to implement something that you had to make the map. That would have been a bitch. Oh, we can't... Oh, we can't carry anymore. Okay. Put that down then. Uh, well, screw it. We'll eat the seeds. Just pick up the carrot then. Because I can get more seeds pretty easy. The birds drop them all the time. So I'm not really worried about using them for a bit of food. I'll bring them back. Cook them up. It's going to be a lovely meal. I don't think there are any more berry bushes nearby. The only thing that the map doesn't tell you is whether you've picked the berry bushes or not. It takes three whole days for berries to come back. So, we just have to hope that if ever we run out of food later on down the line, that uh, some of them have grown back by that time and that the map isn't going to lie to me. Which, chances are, it will. Oh my god, these footprints are everywhere! One day I will show you what, they, what that thing is, because it's um, an interesting sight. I don't actually know what happens if you kill it or what you can do with it. I mean, I attacked it once, I think. And a lot of the time it just runs away from you. But when it hits you, oh boy, <laughs> it hits you hard. Seriously, it's it, it like one shot me. And I don't remember if I had wood armor on or not. Wood armor is the better armor to the grass armor if you didn't guess already. Okay, let's see. Now we just need to get some wood. I'll get my axe out. I should really think about getting enough uh, wood planks just to make a chest to be able to store some stuff at home base. Because at least then I can not worry about managing my inventory as much as I have been. Alright, well, actually since I'm here, a bit more inventory space would mean I'll be able to just cook these up and eat them. Because at least that way I can fill up my hunger and give myself two more spaces in my inventory. Which would be useful. Awesome! Almost full. That was a good meal. Alright, well I don't have to go all the way down just to chop this one down. Just do this one and then quickly go see what else there are downstairs. Downstairs? First, I'm not going downstairs. And there's a big one. There's a big tree, actually. Yeah, let's just get these two while we're here. I, oh, I don't even know if I'll have enough axe to chop down one of these. Will I just barely? No, nope. okay, I don't. All right, let's make one more axe then. I think there was like 5% out. Yeah, okay. And then chop this one down. Oh, oh no! <laughs> I was not expecting you. Oh, hello. How you doing, fella? This guy, he's a bitch. Let me just... Let me just... Oh, hello. How you doing? I wasn't expecting to run into you so quickly. Alright. Now, I'm going to try and keep away from this guy because I won't be able to defeat him. But I'm hoping... I'm hoping... Damn it. He's not doing any... He's not doing what I want to. He's huge! Yeah, he is, isn't he? Okay. I originally thought that... Well, killing trees pisses this guy off, right? I wonder if I can burn him. Oh, I was hoping I'd be able to burn him. Oh, man. Eh, 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 eh. Just attack! Just attack him! Go for the eyes! This is like the first boss encounter. Yeah! But it's okay. We're still alive somewhat. We're kind of dead though. That's always a bummer. Alright. Well, he's going to leave us alone now, so... That's uh, useful that we found that revival stone, isn't it? Okay. But the problem is, now that we've died and come back to life, that would have done a number on our brain. So... The world is kind of reflecting that. I guess... Uh, Guess we're going insane a little quicker than I thought we were going to. Alright. So, that was kind of uh, annoying, I guess, but whatever. So, we're going to start... You're going to start seeing some interesting things start to happen if I don't try and fix my sanity. I want to quickly just go and get some more wood. Now, I'm probably going to... 
I don't know if I did the right thing when attacking that guy. I just decided to try and just full force it and try to hope that my armor would keep me alive. Apparently it didn't, by the way. And so you might be saying to me, should have used the axe because technically it's a tree. It would have done more damage, maybe. Don't know. Not really had much experience fighting that guy. I've seen him before and I've run away. Should have done that, really. But I've not really had any experience with him. Last time, this is the reason why I was picking up cones, because last time when he attacked me, it was because I chopped down a tree. It wasn't him. It was like another tree, and he came out and attacked me then. And then when I planted the two pine cones, he left me alone. So I thought that maybe I'd pissed him off, and then when I planted the cones, he was all right. That's what my initial thought was, so I tried to do that. Apparently, didn't work this time because I actually attacked him. So, note to self, run the fuck away when I see him next. I don't know if he stays out now that he's out and about. I really don't know. It wouldn't fit in my pocket. Oh, can I? Oh, I can try and pick up the, the boulder. Whoops. We actually got some marble from that thing, though. Interesting. I don't know what that does. I think we can use it, though, for something. Okay, wearing the garland is actually helping out with my sanity a bit, so that's pretty useful. We got some nightmare fuel. This stuff is crazy, which is actually... I'm surprised I got that so quick. <laughs> I had to die to get it, but hey. <coughs> we should probably make another grass armor just to be able to survive a bit longer. Where is it? Oh, no, he's still around. I don't really want to go near him in case he attacks me. I wish I could get rid of these things. Because they're a little annoying. Oh, oh, oh! What are you doing, pig man? This is not the time to be a brave hero. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, man, this is the fight of the century. Oh, man. I don't know who you're rooting for. I'm not rooting for the pig anymore, let me tell you. Oh, is he coming after me? I think he's coming after me. No? No, I guess not. Alright. Well, he's killed me once. I think that's satisfaction enough for him. Ooh. I don't really want to get near him in case he does start attacking. Go away. Go away, fella. I just want to use my science machine to make some stuff. Alright. Let's make some boards. I'm using your cousins to make boards. Is that on top? Are you serious? <laughs> Everything is not going according to plan today. Ah, oh, what the hell? I can't even get those. Give me the boards. Oh, man, that's not fun. Oh, all right. So with these boards, what I can make is I can make a chest. Let's make that chest. There we go. And that way I can store stuff in it. Like the nightmare fuel, the spider gland. Let's hide the gold in there as well as the ashes and the marble. Just the stuff I don't need for the time being. Oh, that, ugh, those boards are really going to piss me off. Hang on. What can I... How do I make that? Two rope. Okay, I need two rope. This is going to be a bit of a pain, but I want those boards. So two rope. And then we get ourselves a hammer. And with that hammer, we break. 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 And it's still up in the air. This is the kind of shit I have to put up with. Uh, whatever. Fine. I guess this, this fucking series of Don't Starve went off really well. Went off with a bang right at the beginning. Fine, we'll put the hammer in there. We'll use that again later, I guess. I'll keep that handy. And I guess now we just have to continue working on the various items we need to make the alchemy engine. I need... I don't know how many bits of stone I need. Let's have a look. I need two. Okay, so I made a little more than I needed. So we'll just put that in there for now. Of course, we used the amount of wood we got to make the planks to make the chest. So I'm going to need to go get some more wood away from this guy. I still want this, though. Hey, get off my pig skin. Actually, I'll put this in here. There we go. And we've used the chest up already. I'm hoping that that falls down 
when I reload the thing, but it probably won't, knowing my luck. Hey, give me my seeds. So it seems that I have a tree boss friend now. It's just going to roam around for a while. What should we call him? Woody, I guess? That's original, right? No one's used that name before. There we go. Just eat those, and uh, thankfully the garland has pretty much given most of our sanity back, which is nice. There's a reason why I got the garland. Very useful item to have. Otherwise, we'd have started seeing some weird shit and things go bump in the night, let me tell you. Okay. So what else did I also need? Gold. Really, this is just about me surviving the night now. So I think I'll save you the trouble and end it here. Of course, this episode's been a thing. It, some things didn't exactly go the way I wanted them to, if you didn't guess. Oh, he's turned into a normal tree now. Oh, I'm going to have to remember which one he is. All right. Anyway, thank you for watching <sighs> this spiral into madness. If you enjoyed this, throw us a like, because I'm definitely going to need it, let me tell you. And I'll see you on the next episode of Don't Starve. Okay, thanks, bye.